Since Trump's stunning victory, there's understandably been rivers of tears shed by some of our regular uncensored contributors, and we feel it's important to check in on them just to check they're okay. Uh, here's my, uh, how my final guest today reacted in real time as the results came in. They're Steve's still analysis. outstanding. Are they not counting them here? What's going on, Vadim? <laughs> Why isn't Philadelphia counting votes? I want to know what the f what is going on? What the hell is going on right now? Well, by popular demand, Destiny rejoins me now. Um, so Destiny just showed up on Piers Morgan's Piers Uncensored to chat about his election day meltdown. Yep, he's diving into all the drama, breaking down what went down, and why it all fell apart so hard for him. Let's jump right into it and see what Destiny has to say about this whole mess. Destiny, uh, I, I can't imagine this could have gone any worse for you, could it? Uh, there are ways it could have gone worse. Um, I think the writing was probably oh. on the wall. Obviously, I have to do a stream for, uh, well, I can, think of a, I can think of a number of ways it could have gone worse. Uh, we could have lost every single state. Uh, it could have been the Reagan landslide that everybody wanted it to be. But um, I think the writing was probably on the wall when the Florida vote started rolling in and you saw that Miami had flipped red. Uh, but listen, we got to do a show. You know as well as I do. you got to keep it entertaining for 12 hours. So we were engaging in some high-level Bernie math uh, into the deep hours of the night trying to see if there was a way for uh for harris to win and yeah but yeah it was a fun time i mean look it's been an absolute debacle for the democrats why do you think it's been such a crushing defeat um honestly i think that i understand that we have uh, uh we have to keep our jobs uh, and we have to make sure that our jobs are important by telling people how important they are but i think the the real answer because all the analysis was done earlier by all these panelists especially roger stone who's an american trader was absolutely ludicrous um, i think the actual answer is americans just kind of vote based on the economic vibes they feel i think that when biden won in 2020 uh it was because uh covid everybody felt horrible the economy was like cra everything was crazy not just the economy everything was crazy so people voted for biden i think that when biden came in i think we had a lot of inflation early on people still feel the cumulative effects so then they vote trump i think it's probably as simple as that um you can try to like reach to all of these other things but like um basically every other point brought up earlier which is factually completely and totally ridiculous if you're into this kind of content don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps me out a ton. All right, let's keep it rolling. That's an incorrect idea of like weaponizing the DOJ and then bringing up New York State. Um, the fact that Donald Trump has done every single thing that you guys earlier were accusing the Biden admin of doing, except like 20 times worse. I don't think at the end of the day, Americans don't care about that. If you talk to an average person, they're not going to tell you about the Department of Justice is weaponizing, but they're just going to say like, man, sh you know, shit's expensive right now. Fuck. And that's about it, I think. I mean, that, that is partly true, certainly on the, on the economic part. I agree with you. And I think I would add immigration and the southern border crisis as being a major uh, added component to that because people resented the fact that not only could they not afford to feed their kids, but there were all these people coming in illegally on the border and putting extra pressure on public services and taking jobs and so on. I think you can't discount that. Nah, um, nah, that's not... Nah, well, you would that's discount it, but I wouldn't. Stuff. No, no, I would discount it because the Republicans discounted it. Um, if the border was a huge issue then the border bill wouldn't have been shut down. They would have negotiated harder on it, but they didn't. They shut it down because they knew it wasn't a real issue. All right, so here's what went down. Piers Morgan dives right in, asking Destiny why he thinks there was such a big loss in the election. Destiny's response? He basically says it's all about the economic vibes. His take is that Americans are reacting to how they feel about the economy rather than specifics. When Biden won back in 2020, it was because people were feeling the chaos COVID, economic issues, everything was a mess. So they chose Biden to bring some calm. Destiny then points out that once Biden was in, inflation spiked and people felt the pinch. Now, with things still shaky, people are voting for Trump and Destiny thinks it's really that simple. People vote based on their wallets. He dismisses more complex reasons like accusations about the DOJ or anything that feels distant to everyday Americans. To him, all that matters to most people is, are things affordable or not? Piers, though, adds a twist. He agrees on the economy, but throws in another big factor, immigration and the southern border. In his view, people are not only struggling with prices, but are also frustrated by the pressure they feel from increased immigration. Piers argues that this crisis adds to the struggle to afford basic needs and creates tension around public services and jobs. Destiny isn't buying it. He pushes back, saying if the border issue were really that crucial, politicians would have fought harder for a border bill. Since it got shut down, Destiny sees it as less of a priority than people make it out to be. In a nutshell, Destiny is saying people vote with their wallets, 
Piers is saying the wallet and the border, and they're both digging into the core reasons behind voter decisions. If you want to catch the full interview, go check it out on Piers Morgan Uncensored. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video.